Welcome everyone to homework set 13. We're going to start off with problem 3.4-3. Okay, so we are given this problem. We're given something that has several torques being applied right there uh, on a shaft that has different size diameters. Okay, so the problem asks to find the max shear uh, in the structure, right? So we're going to go about first analyzing the different shears in each segment to see where it might fail um, and what part is going to receive the most force, right? Okay, so first off we're going to be using this equation. It's pretty important. Um, so it's just your normal shear equation given a torque, radius, and polar moment of inertia. Okay, and for the polar moment of inertias, you can find the formula in the back of the book. Um, uh, they've been given right here, right? So that's just a little heads up of where those come from. Um, and we're just gonna get started. So we're gonna start by looking at AB, right? So we see that that's attached to the wall right there, right? So that is going to be receiving all of the torques, right? So the way this works is we're going to set it up this equation. So we're adding up all the torques and then we have that diameter of AB in that section right there. We have the polar mode of inertia of AB, which is that equation. Whoa. That equation right there all right so when you solve for that um, you will get 3,742 uh, psi sorry it's I am using the touchpad on my laptop so sorry if this is dreadful okay so Pretty straightforward. We're just going to go forward and do it for each segment. The next, oh my, BC. Okay, um, that's slightly in the way. Okay, BC, similar this time, right? BC is only feeling the torque from this guy and this guy, right? So, go forward. And if we solve this out, we are going to get 4,653 PSI. Okay, now we're going to just keep on solving. Okay, we have a couple different methods. There's a couple different formulas. Um, I suggest just sticking with this formula since it's what we're familiar with, but the book also says you can use this. Um, it's a more uh, specific case. But we're just going to stick with this one um, using the polar moment of inertia. We already see up there. All right? Solve it out, plug in the numbers. We've just got uh, that torque right there. So that is going to get us um, to. And there we go. Okay, very straightforward. And that is all for that. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we're gonna look, okay, at what point is it receiving the most force? So when is it gonna break, right? 4,653, it's gonna be the biggest force and that's where it's gonna have problems. Um,